Wouldn't you know it, as soon as I finished recording my PS5 Slim overview of the reveal from Sony today, that there'd be a controversy that erupted. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT, and yeah, here we have the new PlayStation 5 Slim ring that is a stand. A stand that costs $30 USD, and while initially I was like, yeah, you don't have to buy it. It's not that big of a deal. There, These stands come out for these products all the time, and they just come and go, and you don't buy them, whatever. But this one's a little bit different, because when you look at the stand that comes with the PlayStation 5 Slim, it's really pathetic. Almost pathetic to the point of they're encouraging people to upgrade it and pay more money. So, yeah, I can see where the controversy is here. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full breakdown and information of going over this PlayStation 5 Slim Stand controversy. But for this video, let's talk about what the gaming community is saying. People have expressed collective disbelief over Sony's latest announcement regarding the new PS5 Slim model. While I talked about the redesign in my previous video and how I love the idea that the disk drive is separate from this thing and that alone is making it a pretty special console, a lot of people are upset that the digital version now costs $50 more and that there's a few other things that are starting to nickel and dime people and, and people aren't a big fan of mid-console refreshes when the money starts counting the same as what it used to be. And I do understand that this does have more memory and things like that, which is great. But when the prices start increasing after a console's been out for a while, people are gonna start asking some questions. So what's the deal with the stand? Sony's new PS5 Slim, a more compact version of the predecessor, has a reduced volume by 30% and a weight reduction of 18% to 24% compared to the original model. It's set to launch this November and the console features one terabyte of storage for both the standard and digital editions. However, there's a catch. Unlike the original PlayStation 5, which comes with a stand suitable for both horizontal and vertical placements, the Slim model requires a separate vertical stand for upright positioning. This stand will be sold separately for $29.99 USD. And no, you do not have to purchase it. And yes, most likely, eventually, there will be third-party stands out there for a lot less money. But that's not where the problem is here. Take a closer look at what comes with this horizontal stand on the PlayStation Slim. It's kind of like a kickstand. And to me, it looks like an afterthought. The actual design of the console, while it looks really cool, I love the PS5 design, don't get me wrong, it's not functional whatsoever. It's almost like they made the design and then they were like, okay, now how do we put it down? <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't make any logical engineering sense when you take a look at this thing. And that little kickstand, the plastic kickstand that doesn't even match the color of the palette of the PS5 Slim itself, that's what you have to deal with if this is what you're purchasing if you don't want to spend extra money on a real stand. The community's reaction to this has been comical, but at the same time, it's true. What they're saying holds weight. There's a mix of disappointment and bafflement. Here's a summary of what I could grasp when I was reading through everything. A significant portion of the community was looking forward to a reduced price with the slim version, and they didn't get that. They got the same price or actually increased in some regions for select versions of this thing. Some users acknowledge the extra 175 gigs of storage, but still feel like the price is not justified. And it's not just me that thought that this thing was an afterthought. Lots of other people online were looking at this little peg and thinking, really, Sony? You couldn't have made it so the other edge came down and it could have just been flat across the entire way? You need to put this little tiny peg there? Seems like a little bit of an afterthought for the sole purpose of upselling people something that costs far more money, something that used to come with the console in the first place. Charging an extra $30 for the stand, given the console's price, which is already raised from what it was previously, for a slimmed down smaller version, is rubbing a lot of people the wrong way. But $30, 
USD for this metal ring seems a bit egregious. Some people are even starting to compare Sony's move with Apple's notorious practice of removing essential features or accessories, and then later on giving the consumer the option to purchase that same item that used to come with it for free, now costs additional money and it's being marketed as a special item that you can buy. And I have some concerns with this tiny little peg holding this thing up. If something heavy goes on top of it, it might break, fall down, and crush itself because it's not strong enough to withstand any weight whatsoever. So the thing that Sony comes stock with this is actually putting it in more danger than if they just made it right in the first place. So I get it. Yes, there are other ways. There'll be third parties that come out with one of these. There'll be 3D printed versions of them. There'll be other ways to have your PlayStation 5 Slim be on a stand without giving Sony the $30. But the problem comes in with this being the mentality of the corporation thinking that they can start doing this kind of thing. The precedent that they set making people think, programming their minds that this is the way it is when you sell a game console, when you sell an item, when you sell a game, you just get less and less and less and pay more and more and more. That's what I'm pissed off about with this. That's what I'm standing up for here. This is like the ghost of Jim Ryan coming back to haunt us with more greed from Sony. They could have easily put this in with the PlayStation 5 Slim. It's a hunk of metal, a circular hunk of metal, not a $30 upcharge. And while innovations and redesigns are always welcome, transparency and perceived value play a significant role in public acceptance. It remains to be seen how this decision impacts the sales. Don't think it really is going to, so this is all for naught. But one thing's clear, Sony's move with the stand has struck a nerve with many including myself, in the gaming community. And how this is handled by Sony moving forward is going to tell us all we need to know about their true intentions with the PlayStation 5 console refresh. If this really is something that they wanted to sell, or if it's just a way to make more money. Because remember, it's $50 more for the all-digital version of it where you can add a disk drive for an additional charge, and they're phasing out the original digital system. So if you do want an all digital PlayStation 5 console and never really think you'll need the PlayStation 5 disk drive, then right now is the time to pick one up and people that miss out on the original PlayStation 5 all digital edition are going to be stuck paying an extra $50 for theirs. And oh, by the way, if they want to stand it up, it doesn't come with a stand anymore, which that one did come with. Now you have to pay an additional $30 for something that used to be free. It feels like Sony is trying to nickel and dime people right now instead of giving them a deal on a console refresh, which is the opposite direction that the game industry, that the technology sector used to go. It used to be when technology started aging, it would naturally come down in price. Since the pandemic, it seems to be the opposite, where as time goes on, if you don't get it right away, it's going to cost more down the road because of inflation. What a fun time we're living in. Anyways, that's my thoughts on this PlayStation 5 Slim Stand price tag controversy. $30 is obnoxiously high. Sony, be better than this. It's ridiculous. It's absurd. And honestly, I hope nobody buys it. But all it ends up being is something that everyone really should have and doesn't have. And because they don't want to pay $30, it's just this mismatch of an item you need and you're not going to buy it because of principle and you don't have a stand for it. That's BS. This is horrible. It's a bad look for Sony. And to think, Jim Ryan isn't even there anymore to blame this decision on. Who's making these calls over there? I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing. Smash, Jay, smash, Jay.